In this video, we're going to talk about the intersection and union of intervals. It's assumed that you know about interval notation. So what we're going to do first is we're going to sketch two aligned number lines. In other words, we're going to have two number lines, one right above the other, and they're going to be lined up as far as the numbers. And we're going to shade each number line for each interval. This is kind of a, the, the notes or the scratch paper for the problem. Then, if we're dealing with a union of the two intervals, we're going to shade all the points that are shaded on either graph. However, if it's, inter if it's an intersection, we're only going to shade the points that are shaded on both. This is actually more tricky. Lastly, we're going to write an interval for the resulting graph. So let's take a look at a couple examples. Here, we're going to have the interval negative 3 comma 0 without including the endpoints and it's going to be a union of the interval uh, negative 1 comma 2 where the intervals the endpoints are included. So what we'll do is we're going to draw two number lines and we're going to have them be aligned. And this is just a sketch. So I need the numbers negative 3, 0, negative 1, and 2. So this will be negative 3 and we need a negative 1, so here's negative 2. Here's 0, and here is 1, and here's 2. Right? So we have two number lines. The first number line, why don't we shade this in green, the first number line starts at negative 3, does not include the endpoint, so it's going to be a parentheses, and then we shade everything to zero, and we do not include zero. So we're going to have shaded between negative three and zero. The second number line, which we will do in brown, starts at negative one, but it is included. So we're going to have a hard bracket, and it goes all the way to two. Hard bracket there as well, and we shade everything between. Now we need to draw our resulting number line. Union means we want everything that's shaded on either of these number lines. So let's put these tick marks in here. Where this one is negative 3, and this one is 2, here's 0. We want everything that's shaded on either one. If it's shaded here, we want it to be shaded on the final answer. But 3 is not shaded. 3 is a parenthesis, not included but we're going to shade everything in this zone, we're going to shade everything in this zone, we're going to shade everything in this zone, and over here, 2, 2 is considered shaded. It has a hard bracket. So, our final um, interval, our final graph of the interval, looks like that. So, to write the answer, we're going to write interval notation for this. So again, interval notation is read left to right, so we're going to start with a parentheses, negative 3, comma, 2, bracket. And there's our final answer. How about a second example? This one uses intersection. Again, we're going to draw several aligned number lines. And here we're going to start at negative infinity. We need the numbers 1, 5, and 8. So let's put 1 over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And again, these numbers have, number lines have to be lined up. But this is just a sketch. This is not my final drawing. So now let's sketch in the intervals. The first interval, which we will do in red, starts at negative infinity, and it ends at 5, and it does not include 5. Parentheses, and we're going to shade everything to the left of 5, everything that is less than 5. The next interval, which we'll shade in orange, it starts at the number 1 with a hard bracket, which means we do include 1, and it goes to 8, but we do not include the number 8. So there's a soft parenthesis there, so we shade everything like that. Everything between 1 and 8, but we're including 1. Now lastly, we need to draw a number line, and again, we want it to be lined up. So here's 1. Here's 5, here's 8. The original problem says intersection. 
So we only want what is shaded on both. So do we shade to negative infinity? No, we do not. The first thing that is shaded on both, let's grab pink. The first thing that's shaded on both is the number one. And one has a hard bracket, which means one is included. So one is going to be included on my answer. This region is shaded. But now at five, the shading stops. But five has a parentheses. So five is not included. Five is a soft endpoint. It's not included, therefore it's a parentheses. This region here is only shaded in one graph. So we do not shade it over here. So the only thing we shade is between one and five. Finally, we're gonna write our interval for this. Again, one interval is one shaded region on the number line. So we're going to have a bracket, one comma five parentheses. And that's my final answer.